Election day has come and gone, but that doesn't mean it's old news. In fact, today in the city of East Haven, they will painstakingly recount by hand all votes after the current mayor was defeated by just 21 votes, triggering an automatic recount. Meanwhile, in the big cities, there were several surprises, but as always in politics, it's usually the story behind the story that gets interesting. <laughs> Election night proved that despite a criminal investigation into work done by a city contractor at his Hartford home, Mayor Eddie Perez is still strong. This is a great day for me, for my family, but most important, for the future of the city. And in Bridgeport, Democratic State Senator Bill Finch is on his way to becoming the next mayor of the state's largest city. How sweet it is! For the story behind the story, celebration turned scary for Perez and his supporters after Perez's wife Marie, who has suffered from brain aneurysms in the past, collapsed shortly before her husband's victory speech and had to be carried out by family members who were trying to weave their way through the large crowd. People very concerned about your wife. She has been sick in the past. Can you, can you bring us up to speed on how she's doing? It must have been very scary for you, too. Again, uh, it was just, uh, she just fainted, um, and we had EMS personnel check her out. She's doing fine. Uh, she's had similar episodes uh, like this, and I think it was, it was a long day. We've been out since 6 o'clock. She's been with me all day. Meanwhile, for the story behind the story in Bridgeport, Chris Caruso still believes he should be the mayor. While he lost his battle in the state Supreme Court to hold a new election, he won, in essence, with the fact that the justices agreed to take up his claims of voting irregularities from the primary election, which means there possibly could be a second general election in Bridgeport. If the people of this city and the people of this state cannot have justice to its highest court, then where do they seek that justice? Where do they get that justice? Also along the shoreline, a major upset in East Haven, oh, Democrat April Carpone Almond ousts the longtime Republican mayor as long as today's recount holds up her 21 vote lead. I hold out hope. I feel that the machines are very accurate. And in Simsbury, another familiar face is back in office, Mary Glassman, who was first Dan Malloy's running mate and then John DeStefano's will be back in office in Simsbury as the first select woman. The big political story there over whether or not to build a target in town. To build a target or not to build a target. Anyhow, here now are some of the best political minds in the state. Wait a minute, didn't I say that last week? All right, I'm saying it again. Chris so Keating, right. <laughs> the Capitol Bureau Chief with the Harper Current, and Mr. Bill Curry, a political columnist with the Current as well as former Democratic candidate. For governor gentlemen thanks for being here let's start off first with some of the numbers from hartford i find the voter turnout pretty fascinating let's go to the graphic which has the final numbers how much uh the mayor won by he won by about 1500 votes the exact numbers are not there but let's put it this way i charles matthew was came in second and the republican candidate as well as all the others in the field less than a thousand votes pretty amazing isn't it guys it's pretty amazing. In the, in the city of Hartford, uh, a city of about 124,500 people, uh, 16,000 committed crimes uh, uh, last year. About 6,000 voted for the mayor uh, on, uh, on, on Tuesday. Uh, and it sort of goes to the heart of this. Uh, it's, it's the lowest percentage of eligible voters, I believe, of any community uh, uh, in the state with a competitive election. That was despite six mayoral candidates two political parties and the front runner spending six hundred thousand dollars our friend kevin rennie also said too that the mayor in torrington pulled in as many votes as eddie perez Chris. yeah there's there's one thing to remember that the general rule of thumb has become unfortunately for hartford hartford has basically twice as many um people as west hartford and greenwich and in general more people vote in west hartford and greenwich than hartford in any given election and a lot of people thought that the investigation into May work done at mayor Price's house would hurt him i did ask him about that on election night let's go to tape hear what he had to say i charles matthew in the last debate said in the head-to-head -head debate he came down pretty hard on you and he basically told the people of hartford that they had to be concerned whether or not you were going to be taken out of city hall in handcuffs of course having to do with the criminal investigation into work done at your house 
What is it that you want to say about that investigation? It did ha it did start on August 16th. It hasn't been wrapped up yet. Are you surprised by that? And should the people of Hartford be worried? People of Hartford shouldn't be worried. They decided uh, that we have a good direction for the city. We're going to take the city in that direction. The most important thing is uh, on the investigations. We we fully cooperated with the investigation. I hope it'll come to a conclusion soon. So, what do you think, Bill? Should the people of Hartford be worried? M Mayor Prez is well, definitely no, giving this blanket sure. statement. Uh, one of the reasons that Hartford remains one of the poorest cities in America, despite uh, uh, being located in one of the wealthiest states, is that it has been the victim of a kind of cash and carry politics for as long as I can remember. And this has been a legitimate issue. Uh, the mayor was very much helped by the fact that two constitutional officers and our own newspaper uh, endorsed him uh, while he was still in the midst of a criminal investigation. I would just say about that, I myself worry. Uh, we've tried so hard in this state to get our state's attorneys looking seriously at the problem of political corruption. Until we do better at that, we're not going to do better at lots of other things. It makes it pretty hard for those uh, uh, state's attorneys now to turn around uh, despite that and conclude their investigation. Chris? Yeah, I, I think the bottom line is uh, Eddie Perez has been the mayor for six years. He's the best known person in the race. He, I guess he had the best political operation in the race and he won. Okay. That, that's basically why he won. Moving on to the largest city in the state, Bridgeport. The story behind the story there has to do with Chris Caruso. He took his case to the state Supreme Court a few days ago to postpone the general election. That did not happen. Chris, sum that up for us, though. The justices said essentially we'll have a hearing after the fact. Right. There will be a hearing basically almost the day before Finch is sworn in. Uh, so there will still be a hearing. The justices were very reluctant to stop an election, which normally they would never stop an election. But there will be a hearing on November 30th, uh, basically on the merits, which basically Caruso says uh, they cheated to beat him in the primary. So essentially it could have a reverse domino effect. What if the justices say, okay, there's going to be a new primary, Caruso wins that, then they have to have a second election. Bill, though, you think Caruso perhaps was robbed of the primary. You believe that maybe I he think should have won. What, you know, one of the things that happened there was that when, he, when, when they tried to get a hearing on the facts, the Superior Court judge didn't give them a hearing on the facts, and the Supreme Court said, well, we don't have the facts in front of us because you didn't have a hearing, uh, which uh, put him in a kind of a, uh, you know, a, a, a no-win situation. But look at Hartford and Bridgeport, our two largest cities, each with a legal clout of a different kind. You can think back to Ohio or Florida. There's a problem with the courts dealing with the electoral process that really needs a lot more uh, consideration than we've given it.